I have been playing Roblox Transformations for almost 4 years to this point. The game has evolved quite a lot since I started playing, like remember the old textures? But anyways I have always been kind of binge playing games, like imagine binge watching movies but you know for games. By that I mean I pick one game and only play that and grind it until I get burned down and play something else. Looking at my 2023 stream review, you can clearly see this applies to bit Counter Strike, where I usually stop playing for two months and I start grinding again. Something similar appears in Arts of Iron 4 as well. This, of course, applied to Prize of Nations, which also explains my upload schedule. But the thing is, I haven't played Rise of Nations out of my own will for the past one or maybe even two years. It's basically always when to record. Usually, when I get myself to play Rise of Nations again, I also start making a lot of videos. But this time, that just wasn't the case. Before summer 2023, I had a two month break. But when the summer started, I made a lot of videos and then I, you know, obviously stopped again. And now recently, I came back again, but as you can see, I stopped. I just don't find the fun in playing Rise of Nations anymore. And I wanted to find out why. To start, let's look at Rise of Nations score. The game is built upon a foundation that combines elements of real-time strategy and nation-building, offering players a unique and engaging experience. Over the years, we've witnessed numbers of updates, improvements and changes to the game. However, the problem is the long time between updates. Without consistent updates, most games get boring extremely fast, and the same can be said for Rise Nations. Not to mention that sometimes we are waiting months for an update only for it to be a minor one, adding some skins and private server stuff. But recently, Hyperion started updating the game consistently. Even Amanda said that the game is really fun now, but I just don't see it. And I think I know why. When you start playing Resonations, you don't usually know what you're doing. Sure, you played the in-game tutorial, but it's not the greatest, let's be honest. Most people, including me, then go on YouTube and just watch either YouTuber made tutorials or just normal videos and see, you know, what they're doing. This is how I learn about selling electronics for crazy profits and to make tanks in early game. Once you understand the basic meta, every public server just becomes the same. You always start by making electronics to sell goods and to make a quick profit to spam tanks. It usually doesn't matter what country you even play. Even if you play country with one city that can't make tanks, it usually just delays the process. Sure, there are formal rules that countries have, but it really doesn't change much. I think this is one of the main reasons why Razonations is just repetitive. Most players in public servers just don't have the experience to be an actual threat, and if they do, they usually leave before you fight them anyway. At one point, I was just thinking, why doesn't Kuiper add a competitive sort of mode that, you know, have similar skill, play together, and see who's better, for like ranking system or something like that? Well, the problem with that is that the game is overall really unbalanced and there's nothing to base the skill off. This was even said by Hyperion himself in the Discord server. Sure, there's the XP in the game, but it's a terrible measure because you can literally just AFK in game and get a lot of XP or just play as a really small nation and conquer bigger AI countries. It is super easy to just farm XP without even fighting players. As for the unbalanced part, countries with larger populations are just completely stronger than ones with smaller ones. This is obviously fine, but for a competitive game, it just doesn't really work, does it? The updates that Hyperion does make do add content, yes, but the problem is that the core meta is the same at the end of the day. Leaders are a cool and good addition, but I will still make my factories and spam tanks at the end of the day. I tried playing the game in a different way many times, yet it still feels the same, with it outside of being less optimal. I know I shouldn't really compare a Roblox game to game developed by a big studio that also made other successful games, but I don't care, and I will do it anyway. In Hearts of Iron 4, every country has a national focus tree, which has some focuses that are good and others that are less good and etc. This allows players to choose and pick what they should prioritize, overall adding to the depth of the game. The focus trees also make each country, that has one obviously, unique and different from others, which is a key factor of making the game replayable. The game also features a tank, ship and air designers and allow fully custom divisions. This adds a lot because players can make unique builds with different designs. In Rise of Nations, it's all the same. You just click one button to spawn troops, to spawn tanks, to spawn navy. The only difference is technology, which is really linear anyway. That's the problem. You always do the same thing. Now I know many people say, but Rise of Nations is meant to be a simple game. 
And yeah, I can agree with that. Many simple games are good. For example, Counter Strike. Yes, here I am comparing a Roblox game to a big game again, but the difference is that Rise of Nations is a real time strategy game, while Counter Strike is a tactical shooter. Real time strategy games have to offer something different that will keep you coming back, but in my opinion, Rise of Nations just doesn't have anything, which is why I just can't get myself to play and record this game anymore. There's nothing to do in this game. Yeah, a lot of people have told me to just, you know, play events like World War 1, World War 2, and stuff like that. I have, but I never liked how they play out. Everyone just gets like huge stacks of infantry and drains each other down. It just isn't really fun in my opinion. In game there are formables and you know, you can maybe try grinding them all, right? That could be fun, right? The reward for completing all formables is just a discord roll in the Rise of Nations Discord, which most of the player base isn't even a member of. So what can we do to fix Rise of Nations? Oh. That's a tough question to answer. I think it's impossible to make this game not repetitive without changing the core mechanics of the game. And the main issues are that, you know, it's just too simple for a real-time strategy, like at least in my opinion. Honestly, I'm not sure how to change it, but one thing I do think that should be changed is just the combat system in overall. Currently, there is no way to back off from a battle like you're just stuck. They shouldn't be stuck fighting that battle forever. But the problem with that is that it doesn't really work in this game, like it's be kind of broken so i get it but i feel like it should be changed i actually kind of like the navy system in this game i mean the aircraft carrier is still like really broken though it got heavily nerfed with the anti-aircraft and you know having to build shipyards but i still think it has just way too much range however it's in a way better spot than before obviously but the addition of new doctrines is actually really interesting but like mass attacks is now kind of bad from what i've heard i haven't really said anything because you know i don't play the game anymore but yeah i guess it makes it more interesting but it still doesn't really change much in my opinion not sure what to change if you have any ideas to you know fix the combat system and stuff like that to make the game you know not so bad let me know in the comment section but yeah um next month World of Revolution should release, and honestly, I'm a bit excited. So yeah, Rise of Nations is repetitive. This could just be me. After all, I'm just a guy that has an opinion on the internet that is not going to be respected, and the comment section surely won't be heated. Surely, right? Anyways, I wanted to know like if anyone else feels the same. You know, I can't be the only one that thinks the game is really repetitive. I don't know. Let me know in the comment section what you think. Like, do you, do you agree with me? Do you not? And also tell me why, why not? And yeah, I'm tired of promising stuff. Like, I kept on promising or just saying, you know, Oh, I'm gonna record next week, I'm gonna record today, blah blah blah. I need to stop doing that, bro. Like, I've been also, you know, I, I've been wanting to make, like, different types of videos, like Hearts of Iron, maybe even Victoria 3. Just stuff that's not Rise of Nations necessarily, of course. I just never wanted to. It's like, the YouTube algorithm is a scary thing, bro. This video took a while to create it. Thank you so much for watching this far. And yeah. I'm not sure what the next video is gonna be. I'm not gonna promise anything. It might be wrong, it might be something else. Who knows? Maybe I'm just never gonna upload again. Only time will tell.